Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving into the world of extreme weather as we count down the top 10 strongest typhoons ever recorded on Earth. These colossal storms with their swirling masses of cloud and wind are capable of unleashing unimaginable power, shaping landscapes and leaving lasting impacts on human civilization. From the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, these tempests gather strength, fueled by the warm, moist air, evolving into formidable forces of nature. Join us as we journey across the globe, tracing the paths of destruction and exploring the science behind these awe-inspiring phenomena. Stay tuned to learn about these powerful storms and their incredible impacts, ranking them by their sheer intensity and the mark they've left on our planet. Our journey into the heart of nature's fury begins with Typhoon Tip, an undisputed titan that etched its name into meteorological history. In 1979, this monstrous storm emerged over the warm waters of the Western Pacific, quickly ballooning into a whirling behemoth of unprecedented proportions. At its peak, Typhoon Tip achieved a record-breaking size, spanning an astonishing 1,380 miles, nearly half the width of the contiguous United States. Imagine the entire expanse of the American Midwest consumed by a single swirling storm. This colossal size was matched by its ferocity, boasting wind speeds that peaked at a staggering 190 miles per hour. Typhoon Tip's immense size and intensity brought widespread destruction across the Pacific, particularly impacting Guam and Japan. In 2013, Typhoon Haiyan, known in the Philippines as Super Typhoon Yolanda, carved a path of unimaginable destruction across the island nation. This storm, one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded, left an indelible scar claiming thousands of lives and causing billions in damage. As Haiyan slammed into the Philippines, it unleashed a catastrophic storm surge, destroying homes, businesses and infrastructure. Typhoon Haiyan stands as a chilling reminder of nature's destructive power. In September 2016, the Western Pacific Ocean witnessed the birth of another meteorological titan typhoon, Maranti. This powerful storm, with its massive size and ferocious winds, left a trail of destruction across Taiwan and China. Maranti's journey began in the warm waters east of the Philippines, rapidly gaining strength and evolving into a super typhoon. At its peak, Maranti boasted winds of 190 miles per hour, making it one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded. Maranti's first target was Taiwan, where it made landfall with terrifying force, causing widespread damage to infrastructure, agriculture and homes. After battering Taiwan, Maranti continued its destructive path towards mainland China, bringing heavy rains and strong winds. In 2020, the Philippines faced the wrath of yet another powerful storm, Typhoon Goni, known locally as Rolly. This exceptionally intense typhoon, packing record-breaking wind speeds, left a trail of destruction across the archipelago. Goni's rapid intensification was fueled by warm ocean waters, high humidity and low wind shear, creating the perfect conditions for the storm to strengthen. At its peak, Goni attained wind speeds of 195 miles per hour, with gusts exceeding 220 miles per hour, making it the strongest landfalling tropical cyclone on record. Goni's first victims were the islands of Catanduanes and Albe, where it made landfall with terrifying force, ripping roofs off buildings and flattening entire communities. As Goni churned across the Philippines, it unleashed torrential rains that triggered widespread flooding and landslides. Journey back with us to 1958, a year etched in the memory of Japan for a storm of extraordinary ferocity, Typhoon Ida. This powerful typhoon known in Japan as the Kanagawa Typhoon left an indelible mark on the nation, claiming over 1,200 lives and causing widespread devastation. Ida's path of destruction began in the Western Pacific, rapidly gaining strength and morphing into a meteorological behemoth. On September 26, 1958, Typhoon Ida made landfall in Japan, unleashing its full fury on the island nation with winds estimated to have reached up to 109 miles per hour. However, it was the torrential rains that accompanied Typhoon Ida that proved to be the most destructive, triggering catastrophic flooding and landslides. The storm served as a wake-up call for Japan, prompting significant investments in flood control infrastructure and disaster preparedness measures. 
1961, Typhoon Nancy, a monstrous storm, raged across the Pacific, becoming a benchmark for future generations of meteorologists. Nancy's journey began in the warm waters east of the Philippines, rapidly gaining strength and evolving into a super typhoon. At its peak, Nancy boasted sustained wind speeds of 215 miles per hour, making it one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded. However, it was Nancy's extraordinary longevity that truly set it apart, raging across the Pacific for an astonishing 21 days. Guam bore the brunt of Nancy's fury, enduring the storm's full force for an extended period, causing widespread damage to infrastructure, agriculture and homes. The storm spurred advancements in meteorological observation and forecasting, prompting scientists to develop new techniques for tracking and predicting the paths of these powerful storms. In 1959, Typhoon Vera, known as the Isawan Typhoon, tore through Japan, leaving devastation and heartbreak. One of the deadliest typhoons, it highlighted the vulnerability of even developed nations to nature's wrath. On September 26, 1959, Vera made landfall with winds up to 160 miles per hour. The storm surge proved most destructive, inundating coastal areas and swallowing communities. It prompted Japan to invest in coastal defenses and disaster preparedness. In 1959, Typhoon Joan, a powerful and destructive typhoon, raged across the Pacific Ocean, leaving an indelible mark on the Philippines and Taiwan. Joan's journey began in the warm waters east of the Philippines, rapidly gaining strength and evolving into a super typhoon. At its peak, Joan boasted sustained wind speeds of 160 miles per hour, making it one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded. Joan's first victims were the islands of the Philippines, where it made landfall with terrifying force, causing widespread damage to infrastructure, agriculture and homes. After battering the Philippines, Joan continued its destructive path towards Taiwan, making landfall on the island's east coast, bringing heavy rains and strong winds. The storm spurred advancements in meteorological observation and forecasting, prompting scientists to develop new techniques for tracking and predicting the paths of these powerful storms. In October 2010, Typhoon Megi, known in the Philippines as Super Typhoon Juan, left a trail of destruction across the Philippines, Taiwan and China. Megi's journey began in the warm waters east of the Philippines, rapidly gaining strength and evolving into a super typhoon. At its peak, Megi boasted winds of 195 miles per hour, making it one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded. Meggie's first target was the northern Philippines, where it made landfall with terrifying force, causing widespread damage to infrastructure, agriculture and homes. After battering the Philippines, Meggie continued its destructive path towards Taiwan, triggering landslides, flooding and widespread power outages. The storm's impact on three major East Asian economies highlighted the interconnectedness of the region and the need for international cooperation in disaster preparedness and response. In September 2018, Hong Kong found itself in the crosshairs of nature's fury as Typhoon Mangkut, known in the Philippines as Super Typhoon Ompong, bore down on the city. This powerful storm, one of the strongest to threaten Hong Kong in decades, tested the city's defenses and left a trail of damage in its wake. Mangkut's journey began in the warm waters east of the Philippines, rapidly gaining strength and evolving into a super typhoon. At its peak, Mangkut boasted sustained wind speeds of 175 miles per hour, making it one of the most intense tropical cyclones ever recorded. Mangkut's first victims were the Philippines, where it made landfall with terrifying force, causing widespread damage to infrastructure, agriculture and homes. Despite the significant damage inflicted by Typhoon Mangkut, Hong Kong's robust infrastructure and well-prepared populace helped mitigate the storm's impact. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating content. Let us know in the comments which typhoon you found most interesting or if we missed any other powerful storms. From the colossal typhoon tip to the city-testing Mangkut, we've journeyed through the destructive history of the top 10 strongest typhoons. 
These awe-inspiring events remind us of the sheer power of nature and the importance of understanding and respecting our planet. Stay safe and see you next time.